What's up guys? Okay, so let's do a little experiment, shall we? Let's see how this goes. Okay, so here is a dead tarantula that died ages ago. I just took it out from the freezer as you can see all the condensation on it. This container, it has holes at the side so it will not be suitable for this experiment. Let's get this tarantula into a little smaller deli cup over here. What we're going to be doing is, wait, before that, usually you guys know that we preserve tarantulas like this in glass containers submerged in alcohol, right? So we know alcohol, it preserves stuff. However, I just found this in my closet and it is 50% hydrogen peroxide. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen, but let's put some hydrogen peroxide in this and Let's see what happens. Let's see the reaction. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. Now, don't play around with hydrogen peroxide, you guys. This can burn your hands. You should be using gloves, to be honest, but, you know. Anyways, let's, let's pour this and see what the reaction is. Let's go. Okay. What's going to happen? Oh, it's foaming up. Oh my gosh, what's happening there? Oh, whoa. Look at that. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna close this up. Hydrogen peroxide, they react with organic matter. So a tarantula, obviously an organic matter. Got a little bit of peroxide on my hand, so I'm gonna have to give it a quick rinse before it burns. Okay, so now let's see what happens to the tarantula. I'm gonna submerge it into the peroxide and look at what happens. Oh boy. It's, it's literally boiling up. It's, look at the reaction. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yep, that's crazy. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is leaving this tarantula in here and coming back maybe tomorrow and see what happens to it. I'm genuinely curious to see what happens. Should I leave it open or close it? I think I'll leave it open. All right, so now we're gonna just put it at the side and we'll just wait for tomorrow, come back and see what happens to this tarantula. But as you can see now, it is reacting like crazy, all the bubbles and stuff. So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys, it is the second day and let's see what this chemical did to that dead tarantula. All right, so yeah, I put it in this because I did notice it started to expand. So I put a cover on just in case it decides to like explode or something. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, check that out. It, it Wow. Wow. It bleached out the tarantula. You can you can even see like oil. Like Is that oil? I don't even know the tarantulas even have oil like what that's a new discovery like did you guys know that tarantulas have oil i did not know oh my gosh that is crazy it literally i mean yeah hydrogen peroxide is a bleach but this thing oh my gosh i did not know it was gonna bleach out a tarantula and i did not know there's gonna be freaking oil this peroxide like suck on oil is it like a degreaser or something i have no idea look at that that is wow and it, it doesn't, it doesn't even smell bad, to be honest. Yeah, it does not even smell bad. It just smells like peroxide, man. Yeah, I mean, peroxide is, is essentially it's water, right? Water with more oxygen or something. I, I don't know. Hydrogen? I, ox I, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I suck at chemistry. I failed chemistry in school. <laughs> don't judge. But yeah, this is, this is insane, man. That is insane. It's still bubbling. Like yesterday, I should have updated you guys yesterday because yesterday it was like a full foam. Like it was like a thick, like literally thick foam. But today it looks like it, the foam, uh, it subsided and this is what we are left with. Still pretty cool. And I can't remember, the, did this tarantula have black fangs? Yeah, I think so. And now it's all pretty much bleached out. I'll put it on this thing. Let's get my tongs over here. And I'm not going to be, it's hard. It's hard, it's solid. Yep, it absorbed into this. If you guys notice, the abdomen was not like this. Now it's like oblong and bigger. I'm really scared if it decides to explode in my face and yeah, that will not be good because it can blind you and... Oh my, what? What? Look at that, you guys. It legit bleached out the whole tarantula. This looks like an OBT with horns. That is insane. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You know what? Let's give it a wash. Let's turn on the water. 
give it a quick wash to get off all the foam so we can examine it properly. Yeah, just wash all the stuff out. This is crazy, man. This is insane. Oh my gosh. All right. So we've got most of the foam out and let's just, oh, look at that, you guys. Look at, that is insane. That's like a new species of tarantula. That is crazy, man. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is insane. That is legit insane. And look at the, the joints. They're even whiter. Oh my god. Look at the horn. Look at the difference between the colors of the horn and the carapace. That's like, yo, it did not even bleach the tarantula out like, like full of the same color. It still has its own wool. I think that, that shows that the legs and the horns, maybe they are made of the same material. I don't know. And the abdomen and the carapace is a different thing and why is this leg oh yeah i think because it was like exposed out of the peroxide that's why it is not white but yo, that's if if there was actually a tarantula that looks like this that will be so cool like legit look at the eyes they're like reddish i think this would be an albino tarantula that is insane what you guys think let me know in the comments below but yeah like I said, it's an experiment because I don't know. I never knew what was going to happen. And well, now we know. Check that out. So we have a albino tarantula, which is, oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Woo, I don't know. Should I, should I keep this tarantula like for remembrance or should I just go and bury it? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I think some peroxide splashed on me. It's kind of getting a little bit of burnt and itchiness, but that is freaking insane. Look at that. Are those meat, those white things? I have no idea, but that is crazy. Did you guys expect this? Because I sure did not expect this, man. Because usually you guys know we preserve tarantulas in those jars of alcohol but then now we have a freaking peroxide tarantula which the horn is so cool look at the color <gasps> that is so insane man I, I i regret this i should have i mean not not this but i regret not updating you guys yesterday because like one hour after i put that tarantula in peroxide you should have seen the amount of foam man it was crazy so yeah i don't think this video was done before so i think this is the first of a bleaching or creating an albino tarantula in youtube or in the world actually so yeah guys let me know what you think comment down below so yeah thumbs this video up if you liked it there's nothing really much i'm gonna say about this other than that that is oh my gosh so yeah guys i'll see you in the next video take care have a good one and peace damn that's so wicked before some of you go like, oh, why are you doing this? Ah, la, 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 la. Wait, I'm going to be preserving it just like the other tarantulas. It's just that this one, I decided to put peroxide because I am curious as to what's going to happen. Essentially, it's the same thing. I'm still going to preserve it. So just chill out, okay? Chill out. So I've positioned it like how I want it to be. There we go. Now I've got 75% isopropyl alcohol. I'll film from the top so you guys can see. There we go. I'm not sure if it's going to react with peroxide. I did wash off the peroxide, but I'm pretty sure there are still... Why is it floating? Why... What? 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 Why are you floating, man? No, 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 no. Where's my uh, spoon? You are not supposed to float. What are you doing? Why is it floating, guys? Let me know in the comments below. This is so weird. What? Because usually they'll sink. Is it because the peroxide causes it to... F I, I don't even know, man. But hopefully it will sink as time goes by. But as for now, yep, that's just how it's going to be. So yeah, my second time doing the outro. I hope you guys liked this video. <laughs> if you liked it, thumbs it up. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a good one.